Hello everybody, welcome to the Common Sense Academy. We are going to watch a video of a judge taking a sovereign citizen to school. Uh, <laughs> this kind of thing never really gets old, but it's a fresh video for me. I haven't watched it yet, so we're going to watch it together. Everybody raise your cup, your glass in the air. Cheers with me. It tastes better when we sip together. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Free way to support the show. Also, check out my new channel, Libertarian Front, where I talk about politics. It's a more mainstream political channel. The link is in the description below. Now, let's watch this video. Your Honor, um, we were representing him, but we um, are going to be submitting a withdrawal to you. Um, you, should, you should have it shortly. All right, Mr. Brown, are you represented by somebody else? Yeah. Um, for the record, I am Demarcus Bates and apply surety for Demarcus Contrail Brown. Uh -huh. I'd like to file a motion in the court for additional 30 days for me to seek counsel. All right, so he's he's Demarcus Bay, and we all know what that means. That means more sovereign citizen. And I liked how the judge like shook her head and said, no, she knew what was coming. She knew what was coming. Okay, so Mr. Bay, yes. uh, a.k.a. Marcus Contrell Brown, so you're seeking a continuance to get new counsel? Yes. Okay, do you have someone in mind, sir? I, uh, um, not right now, not right now, I'm seeking counsel. Okay, so here's the thing. I can, I'm going to give you a continuance for 30 days, or I'm sorry, until January 5th. But by that time, you need to have counsel on board when they come back so that they can talk to the state to determine if there's anything that they can work out on your case or if they need to get all of the information necessary for a trial, if that's what you choose to do. So by January 5th, I will expect that you will have counsel. Well, I have paperwork on the docket. They haven't been rebutted. I have affidavits of truth. They haven't been rebutted. Okay, sir, we don't... Okay, you got paperwork on the docket. It doesn't have to be rebutted. That's what the point of a trial is for. Okay, what do you mean rebutted? What is he talking about? He's even got the more sovereign citizen hat on. New affidavits. People have to appear in person because there's a confrontation clause in the United States Constitution that says witnesses, you have the right to confront witnesses in person. So we don't do affidavits, okay? If you have witnesses that are going to present testimony or evidence on your behalf, mm -hmm. then you have to have them come to court, be sworn in, and testify at that time, okay? So we're not doing any dismissing and all of that stuff. No, sir. When you get your counsel, they'll be able to uh, discuss it with the state and, and then y'all can present whatever to the court. And the accusing uh, deputy must be present too, right? Okay. So the people always say that, but here's the thing. The state gets to choose who, whatever witnesses they wish to bring, just like you, your side. And I have been working since, oh Lord, I ain't gonna give my age, but I'm all right. DeMarcus Contrell, if you want to um, subpoena someone to appear for trial, then you need to subpoena them. You cannot rely on the state to bring your witness, okay? I don't know why the TikTok app's been a little... Well, the TikTok website is a little weird, so I'm sorry that bounced back and forth there. Okay, okay, I, 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 I got you. So, All right. Anything and jury, else? And jurisdiction can't be challenged at any time, right? No, sir. Jurisdiction rests with this court because this is where the court, the locus of the incident is. Well, you can file a motion to, to challenge jurisdiction. It isn't going to work. Well, Mr. Bay, let me just explain this, something. This, this, Mr. Bay, Mr. Bay, listen to me. Listen to me. Okay. I went to school for three years for this. That's full time. If I had gone part time, it would have been four or five years. All right. And I have been working since, oh, Lord, I ain't going to give my age, but I've been a lawyer and a judge for quite some time. I've been a judge for 10 years as of this year. A lot of times people come before me because they've learned stuff from other people or they've gone online or they've read. This judge right, nailed it. Contrail Brown. Crap. And I have been learning stuff from other people or they've gone online or they've read it themselves. But mm -hmm. I tell you, it doesn't work the way you think it works. And so you... There's a set of statutes, cases, procedures, and all of those things that we have to learn. In fact, let me show you something. He's thinking to her, it doesn't work the way you think it works, Judge. <laughs> because of all the nonsense he knows. Yeah. 
Look at the public defender's face. Well, how did you, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. You see this book right here? Uh -huh. This is just this year's edition of all the stuff that I have to be able to find to figure out what's going on in your case. This is just this year's edition. And I got a book like this that includes evidence and procedure. I got a whole a whole wall of books. So when Wait till he shows you his books. <laughs> You come in here challenging jurisdiction and all of this stuff people have taught you. It's I not that. Can, can, can I show you my um, Black Law Edition? No! Oh, no! Oh, no. Black Law. <laughs> that's a dictionary. That's I knew not it. the full case. You know, you, you come in with all of these ideas about how you think the law works, but every lawyer in here has done at least three years of law school and trainings, trials, all of those things. So you're not going to change the way we do things. So the best thing to do is to get an attorney who can talk to the state Rubbing about his the eyes case, now. <laughs> and then we can get this resolved. Your your case is pretty simple. You got traffic offenses. Well, I still want you to um, prove on the record that you have subject matter jurisdiction. Oh, jurisdiction. man. I'm not proving anything on the record, sir. I wear the robe. They put me in this position. I've been here 10 years. If I didn't have subject matter jurisdiction, I wouldn't be here. So it's, right? it's, it's not a difference between public and private for the record. It's no, no difference. No sir, difference. Sir, get, I don't, I, get I get it. Have... Okay. All right. All right. Same federal, federal, federal code. code. Yes, Come sir. on. Okay. Yeah, and, and Mr. Bay slash Brown... It, it, right. you've, you've indicated that you wish to have an attorney, so I'm going to rely on the fact that you're going to have a tr an attorney. Don't come back here with the same stuff, and I already told you it's not going to work. So you're telling me United States codes don't work? There it no, is. I'm telling you, you I knew know it. Them. So oh, first of all, right the United States there codes it is. don't work in Georgia because Georgia has its own code. The driver definition. So the meaning of driver is different in Georgia. Oh, here we go. Yes, Public, private, uh, commercial. Mr. Bay, uh, Mr. Bay, I'm not doing this with you. Get okay. in the turn. Okay. Thank you, sir. You're free to go. There's a difference, Mr. Bay. There's a difference between state law and federal law. You're in a state court, and the state law is applying to you. The subject matter is the criminal issue or the criminal code that you violated which is the state laws of Georgia, which gives the judge jurisdiction in the local county that's subject matter jurisdiction. As far as uh, the locus or the venue in, in juris jurisdictional authority in that regard, like she said, the issue, the issue or the violation arose physically within the county and within the state of Georgia. And the state laws will apply Okay, except where where federal laws explicitly override state laws. And even then in the criminal sense, federal the federal prosecutors, there's a, there's a there's discretionary prosecution of a federal law or a state law. And the feds have decided that the states are going to prosecute most, maybe not all, but the vast majority of traffic violations. Therefore, subject matter and uh, and physical jurisdiction are justified in the county and the state that you are in. And your Black's Law Dictionary or whatever nonsense you read on the internet is not going to change that, uh, especially when you're before a well-learned judge and lawyer. And my favorite part about the whole thing was the face of the public defender. <laughs> He's gonna he's gonna come back with a common law lawyer and the judge is gonna scorch him. Oh man. Oh man. Thank you everybody for tuning in to the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, and share. Also check out my new channel, Libertarian Front, where I talk about politics. The link is in the description below. Have a wonderful day.